Hey guys, welcome to another video. So this week we are going to be showing you how to upgrade or swap out the uh, hard drive, USB, thumb drive, SSD, whatever you want to call it, uh, out of your Tesla for Sentry Mode. So in previous video you would have seen that I've purchased a uh, one terabyte or one TB SSD from Samsung. Uh, we're about to hook it up and I'll show you what you guys need to do. So I'll flip the camera around first. So give me a sec. All right, so as you can see, up the top over here, you've got the, uh, there it is, the, you've got the red dot, which indicates that it's currently recording. So over here, you can also see it's currently recording in use and sentry mode is on. We just want to make sure that we switch them off so that we can remove the uh, thumb drive or USB drive safely without any files being corrupted or the drive itself being corrupted. Now that you've turned those ones off, you can see at the top over here that the light there is gone as well. So we can head over to uh, the glove box to uh, swap it out. Okay, so as you can see down here, that's the thumb drive over there. So pull that out and for the ones that aren't aware, it is a 128 gig USB, USB 3.1 speeds. And then I've got the Samsung T7 hard drive over here, the one terabyte, so taking that and it's the remember it's the USB a connection so you do need to make sure that uh, you do insert it the correct way because it's not USB-C unfortunately so you can't insert it either way once you've put that in you can see now that there is a faint blue light that dot over here that it's just flashing to indicate that it's starting to write and it's jumped back over through to the main screen Okay, so you can see that it already starts recording again, which indicates that it's all working okay. And you can also make sure you turn on, uh, turn sentry mode back on. Now, just as a safeguard, if you're not too sure, what you can also do is come down, I think it's to the safety section over here. And then you can also format the USB drive just to make sure you've got a uh, clean hard drive, all good to go. So there you guys have it extremely simple it literally took a matter of about 30 seconds to one minute to uh, essentially install and swap out that hard drive i'll put a link in the comments below for a or in the description below uh, in terms of where you can get the hard drive it's not too expensive and it gives you that uh, added amount of storage so that you can make sure um, if there is any incidents or whatever it doesn't overwrite anything important and that you've got that always there ready to use um, other than that hope you guys are well if you did like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and we'll see you guys soon.